Well, hello. Gonna have to let me know if anything seems off. I've changed a couple of things around using a different mic, different headphones, a different light. Changes all over the place. But first things first, what's my loyalty to myself? I am 78 loyal to myself. Sweet. All right. Quick intro for anybody who's uh, new. If you're watching on YouTube and you haven't watched anything else, this is the part where I talk about me. <laughs> so I started this entire thing just planning on sharing my home lab adventures I talked to my friends about some of the stuff that I run in there and they always said hey you should record some of this stuff I bet people would watch it <laughs> notice they didn't say they would watch it you know I should have this transition to me I'll just keep that in the background I wonder if I can do that real quick Oop. Let me duplicate you. Okay. And. Yeah, I want to add an existing. Make you right about. There-ish. You might see my background. Let's see. No, oh, hey, that's not bad. I can call that intro screen. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, my new mic. Like I said, you're gonna have to let me know if uh If anything seems off. There. Now I can go from here to my next one. I'll set you aside real quick. What is it? Tinka Tink. Don't know. Didn't catch it. <laughs> anyway. I was doing my intro. So yeah, I started doing this just to share my adventures in home labbing and slowly it's kind of become a stream of thought. Uh, I'm the kind of person who's always looking for new projects, you know, and I don't mind sharing those projects. And actually it's kind of nice doing this because it keeps me keeps me honest, so to speak. I'm going to keep working on my projects because I've basically set aside three hours a day, uh, Tuesday to Friday, to do something and hopefully share it with everyone. Um, so yeah, that's me. Uh, right now I'm kind of in a transition on, on this channel, I guess, or on this... Uh, both well, on the YouTube side and, and otherwise, where I'm more than likely going to be transitioning from pure tech to actually just all of the projects. Uh, my biggest project right now is that I'm hoping to put together a road trip, um, go visit some places, but first build up uh, my home, I guess, for that road trip. Uh, I've got an M100 trailer and my, that my uncle gave me, and I'm just working on making it a place that can I can drag with me. I can put on 
I can put a tent on it. I can put all my stuff in it and uh, myself and my girlfriend Maggie are hopefully going to be, if not live streaming, at least recording and sharing those adventures uh, in the near future. The last couple of weeks I've been focusing on what that build looks like. Um, I was hoping to get to the point where I was actually working, uh, actually welding, cutting. Uh, and that's part of the reason for this change is I need to be able to use different uh, options for my, my headphones. Uh, I'm going to need to be able to use in-ear if I'm welding. I'm going to need a, mic a microphone that I can speak into from a distance, not sitting at a desk. So I'm taking this all into consideration so that I can just keep sharing all of this with all of you. Uh, so if this is your first time, that's me in a nutshell. Uh, we left off the other day with me having some rather stupid network issues. Someone turned something on nearby here that just wrecked all of my 5 gigahertz networking, which shouldn't be a thing, but it was. Um, so I had to go in and, and make some changes and delete all of the, the learning data in Unify that it had up to this point um, so that it could start over and create a new profile for the, the network channels and the, the networking environment. It happens. It shouldn't but it happens. So now, anyway, my point was I was working on a Tinkercad mock-up of what I was building. And the hope is that we can utilize that to better frame what I'm putting together. So without any more sidetracking, Let's get to it. Womp. And the link for this is shared, uh, or will be shared in the uh, video archive on YouTube, as well as uh, on connectedme.com when I do the announcement. I think I've got a copy of it on the other. Uh, post announcement as well and there you can also find reviews of some of this stuff that I use because if it's garbage I'd like to let people know it's garbage <laughs> but if it's all right and cheap like this is the Fifine wireless lapel mic and it seems to pick up a little bit of extra noise that could be my settings but so far I don't hate it We'll see if it lasts through the stream though, right? Anyway, uh, okay, so I was at the point where I was starting to build out the axles and the undercarriage for this guy. These were examples of the various heights that I'm looking at. This is a height difference between raised and lowered, and I have it all up in the air because undercarriage, right? So let's get our reference back because I'm really just working off of the the actual military manual <laughs> I could go measure the thing but again still trying to get things set up all right where were these sizes Weight and dimension data plate, although it's not the most dimensional dimensions. Oh, and I also need my photos.
Game in. Where are you at? Oh, there we go. And before we get too far into it, I'm definitely a little on the thirsty side. One second. This is weight and dimension data, but it really isn't, I don't think. Boom, 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 boom. Well, it has the wheelbase at least, so that gives me the axle size. I think that's 42 inches. This should be 56 and a half. Side to side. Oh yeah, it doesn't have these top. It has that area. All right. So let's work on that. We're going to want a second one of these. Oh, you know what? I did forget something. One second. Make sure the bot's running. All right. So it's 42 inches inside. 56 and a third, a fourth, a half, something. So that's wheelbase. I already know I've got the inside basically being this distance. Uh, this is my battery box. Can I just make you invisible temporarily? I know that there is an option. And I can get rid of you because I technically already have a set of you right there. And I don't know that I want to get too far into the mods yet because I, I need to just build the stupid thing. <laughs> So, thirty six degrees should give me that information. It's one hundred and eight, and if we look at the way it's designed down here, where'd you go? bottom down. All right. That's going to come to roughly the front. So I guess first things first, maybe I can just take my battery box and, and make that the, the thing, right? Let's get rid of these holes. I don't need them right now. And as much as I like that, I'm not gonna mess with it yet. So I'm just gonna use the battery box. Actually, I have it so high up in the air just because I was dealing with this height thing. So I can get rid of that for now. Get rid of both of them. Come on. I'm 
This is hero is where we want you. Cool. And then you also zero is where we want you. Now I gotta remember what was the thickness of this metal. I remember finding that. Two inch and fourteen gauge, so fourteen gauge. Fourteen gauge thickness. Okay, well, thankfully it's steel, so it's point oh seven four, which is the which was the amount that I made that bigger. Okay, I need to change my snapping what was my it's this one thing about tinkercad like normally if i were doing this on paper i would write my scale i don't remember what my scale is <laughs> ah boy I suppose I can do so it's forty six oh seven wide. And if I go back to here, Jafarig. I may have caught it. Oh, that's something I gotta bring up. I always forget to do that. Dum dum dum. We need this guy. Did we catch it? We did. Oh, I still have to trade, actually. Is that still a thing? It is. I have five days left. I need more grass. More grass trading. I kind of don't want to trade Oddish, but bye. All right, anywho, back at the ranch. Oh no, that's... I went too far. That's what I'm looking for. So that's 42. And I have what? Sweet! Got it. So what is this 40... 46... Oh, the, the 0 0.07 is, so I did 0.7, okay. I just moved it over one. So this guy, height-wise, needs to be 0 0.07. I said 0 0.007, dink, no. You. 0 0.007. There we go. And we just join you together so that we have a. Oh, I can't. Uh, I almost got myself there. And this thing doesn't have to be precise, 
but it's got to at least be close enough. Like that little overhang would be a problem. probably be a problem. Same thing on the other side. And Graham, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm not sorry, not even a little bit. <laughs> I know how much you hate this. Don't you have a, a bar to tend or something? snapping <laughs> whether you like it or not all right see the one thing is and this is one of the things that if I had just bothered to or if I would just take the time to learn how to use a proper CAD program you just type in hey make a face here <laughs> this gets handled but you know Maybe someday. shirt next to my chain <laughs> that wasn't happening all right now we need these guys and if I'm looking at this properly They are 56 and a half. Well, let's, let's start there. Uh, 
I need you to be 5.650. I don't need to do two of them. I need one of them, and then I cut it in half. Well, more than in half. And if we look at the side, the length, the internal length here, which is 72.08. Watch this. Let's see if this is going to be a thing. Oh, that's funny. Well, luckily I'm closing that account right away. <laughs> But let's do this. We'll do it this way. And of course, they're not the downside of rounded corners. All right. What else can I do? Where? Oh, you know what I can do? I can go take a screenshot. We'll do that. We'll open GIMP. five-ish. And according to here, it's 64. And 55. One second. Just because I'm getting rid of it doesn't mean I'm going to leave it on screen. <laughs> All right. So again, we're looking at the square here. Fifty-five. And in the front. It says 63-ish, but we'll say 65. And what was it overall? Two oh five. So here we have, what, 120? So that puts this at 80. So it's a little bit less than half, right? So instead of 205, we say 200. Um, so that would be what? This should be far easier math than it is in my head right now. <laughs> uh. All 
right, so let's go back over here. We have 72. Seventy-two is our, our seventy-two inches is the real total. Two hundred five is our pixel total. I mean, it's it's seventy-two point zero eight, or in this case, yeah, no, seventy-two point zero eight. So if 205 is our pixel total, wow, I feel like I'm having just the worst brain fart. Okay, 41%. <laughs> yeah, be about, okay. So that's, if I'm doing the 85, so 41%. So if I take, I mean, not exactly 41%, it's this number. If I take 72.08 times that number, that gives me 29.8868, blah, blah, blah. So just about 30 inches. So this guy then needs to be That seems really small. Hey palm. Did not catch the apom. That does not seem right at all. Seven point two, and you are. Yeah, that would explain why it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, that looks more realistic-ish. It's also got to be... Three. Yeah. No. Three. Okay. Now remember, this is not the axle. Because <laughs> we also need to take this and essentially cut it in half. So we're gonna put you not on a face there, but here. Wise, you've got to be 1.5. Bing and join you. And you come down to zero. Yeah, see, that's looking more like it.
Building it up slowly but surely, right? Ah, get over here. Wrong button. Oh, actually, I just need to do... I need to always just center. And it's not quite center. It needs to be just a little ways back, I believe, right? Uh, where'd my notes go? Yeah, so it needs to be... Uh, boom, boom, boom. Where's my calculator? If it has... I need 205. No, I need six fifty we'll do from the back. Fifty-five divided by two oh five is twenty-six percent. So this percentage of again just an estimation. <laughs> 72 divided by that number. No. 72 times that number. Let's add the point zero 0.08. Times that percentage. 19. And let me double check. It's even not with the side, but with the bottom. So like right now, this guy's gotta come down. Now it's gotta go back up. Basically right there. And we need, where's measure, there it is. No, that's not what I want to measure. from here to here. Why? Why you do this to me? Am I not recognizing the measure tool properly? Oh, there is a notes. I should have a note here. This is a 10 to 1. Down size. Oh. <laughs> Down size ratio. Yeah. Okay, so this is just giving me the measurements, but that's not what I want. Let's see.
Rotate the ruler, increase dimensions. But I need you to be not on here. Oh, do I need to move the plane? I think I need to move the plane. a little too far back right now. Oops, that's not what I want. I didn't need to make it that big, huh? cooking with gas ish kind of maybe grab some more water Now, one thing it's not going to have is, uh, boom, 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 boom. I'm not going to be putting this nice little rounded edge on it. I'm just going to lop it out <laughs> because really what I'm worried about is kind of the location of these. So what this trailer was used for, that's why this, uh, sticker here saying is saying hearing protection is required there was a generator sitting in this thing and these were where the outlets were at um so i may be able to use those pre-existing markers as a place to put my uh posts we'll see i also need to do these guys and that kind of I keep left clicking and trying to rotate the photo out I'm 
actually. What am I do instead? I'm just gonna take this. We're gonna downsize you. First this way, so it's one and a half. You're gonna be What do you think that is? Two inches? <laughs> Where'd that picture go? I would say that's about two inches. So we can just say it's two inches thick. A lot of estimation. So we'll go down if we're 1.5, which means 15 tall, we want to go down to 13, or no, 1.3. And then here, we're taking two inches off of either side, so you become 2.6. Then we make you a hole. We center you. We probably want to drag you out just a little bit so that you're bigger. We center you this way. No. Well. Oh man, it made it smaller on that side. Okay. Identified ghost. That's getting an ultra ball. Ah, oh, didn't catch the unidentified ghost. No. We need you to stick out there. All right, so now if I join these, do I get a hole clean through? No. Because it needs to go down. Okay, that note has got to go. Can I put the note over here? <laughs> Wow, now it's way off. Or am I just... No. You and you. We want to center you. Here. Not quite. I'm probably going to need to make it just a little bit bigger. But that's an issue. <laughs> uh, no, it's not, actually. Uh, we'll just unjoin you. Get rid of you. There we go. Now we'll make you a hole. And we'll center you. I suppose you no longer need to be that large. Oops.
then we do our best to press the correct button, which gives us just these. We group, we get a hole. And it looks oddly like McDonald's. Hey, wait, why does it say I caught it? But it was registered. What'd I catch? Let's see what we caught. It's not the execute. I think I just traded for that, right? A cleavor. Okay. I guess the unidentified ghost is... I don't know what the unidentified ghost is. Is there it in here? No, not here. Oh well. Neither here nor there. Maybe another water. More water soon. All right. And now we make the wheels. The wheels actually are just standard Jeep wheels. They're 30. Six, uh, 16 inch wheels. No, it's 416. Although, that's one that the tires are basically the same, right? Oh wait, no, it's 16 inch. OEM are 16 by 4.5. That's height and width. surplus there we go see the one problem is these are applied we've had this discussion right <laughs> rim diameter is 16 inch so that's 16 inside what's the outside Firestone Knobby. Bias, still bias ply. How did I get sidetracked? A squirrel. <laughs> Overall diameter, 28.56 for that guy. Let's go back to this one. Does it have an overall? Why does this one not have an overall diameter? 
All right, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll say it's about 28.56. I mean, it does, there is actually quite a bit of airspace in here. And we figured this out to be about 30-ish. And we gave this two inches. So that means we make this guy uh, 2.85 by, get back here. By 2.85. Oh, that's a snug fit, huh? So that's three on the outside. Hmm. I'm thinking my calculations may have been off. Well, just give it a little stretch. No problem, right? Well, it's crazy as that actually looks <laughs> more accurate. you know I didn't even think about it but it's entirely possible that that's not like designed around the idea of a circle but like what size did I make it <laughs> There is actually, there's still the substructure. Like this is just the bottom of the tub. It's not, it's none of the cross members or support. So there's still space in there. All right. On the plus side, if we get this lined up, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. We need to just go straight across, so. This number needs to stay zero. Uh, negative 45? Nope. Negative 4.5 would be more like it. But, okay. with the their width yet I've just left them the width of that wait why is there a hole is that this sticking through yes okay Two inch. Two inch channel steel, yeah. So 
So that means you need to be point two. Uh, at point two. And you need to be low enough to where I can't see you. Okay. I'm going to line you up on the edges. It's going to be fun. No problem, right? Good enough. Good enough. this picture yeah it's a full box in the rear I didn't I seem to remember that the front was a little bit different a shelter did not catch am I at the point where I'm getting extra money yet I am not. Uh, what are you going to do? So the entire purpose of this is just so that I have a rough, rough estimate. Although it would be interesting to run to see what the simulations can do I'm not I've never actually messed with the simulations on Tinkercad so I do think that would be fun let's set this to half inch temporarily just to get you over there This kind of tells me that I'm not quite lined up. Huh. Let's check over on this side. I do wish that there was an option just to snap to the line, like it's not rocket surgery what I'm trying to do here. It shouldn't be quite this difficult. Oh, 
All right, have we decided what's the front, what's the back yet? <laughs> I mean, you know, asking for a friend. Join these. What's it look like? Does it create? I mean, it kind of creates a line in there. Be interesting if I printed it. I'll bet that line would be there. I really should have put a note on what was front and what was back. break this apart again. If I do this, yeah, they're not centered. They should be centered this way. It's funny that this side comes out more than that side when they're centered. But okay. can't really see what moves when these get centered. But what we know, if we go back to the notes, is front should be a little bit longer. So this is going to become the front. should have grabbed these guys as well even though they're not really lined up and it figured out the difference was what 26 yeah 26 percent which should be two one eighth taps over. And that ought to do it. These wheels are probably going to have to move just a little bit back, but we're going to take that thing off. All right, so since we know this is going to become the front, that means. We need this. Oops. To become point two. And now we have our back. And it's obvious what the back is. Trailer got back. It is odd that I had to just drop it down a little bit, but okay. I'll make it just a little bit bigger. What? What was going on there? It's all one either way. Now, if we go back over here to this guy, we've got these nice little triangle clamp 
clamper boys, if you will. And it looks like they're also kind of the base assembly for the leaf springs. And we'll do that next. But first, I'm going to go get me some water.
and we're back but i still gotta drink some water Still need to do these cross beams, uh, cross cross members, cross beams. I don't know, but there's three of them. So let's do that guy real quick. Dun, dun, dun. No, this one. Basically, just this guy a couple of times, right? Break you back apart. I wonder if I should make this one structure and then join that structure. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. No. I wish there was some way. There probably is. Some Tinkercad genius will probably let me know about it. But I do wish that it was obvious. A way to say, okay, where does that paste happen? right oh whoops that's funny my screen's off <laughs> uh, yeah one of the weird things about OBS you need to figure out when your changes are universal and when they aren't right now they were because I set that for a be right back so what you kind of have to do is you have to make an input which I'm going to do real quick uh, let's say left monitor oops I need to rename you and you're going to be a capture left monitor and then you add the screen capture you add the existing and I'm doing all of this off screen but all right so now instead of putting the filter on the screen capture you can go to your intro no your be right back uh get rid of that are you sure you want to yes and you add a scene you want to find your capture left monitor okay Drag it down to the bottom, add a filter, chroma key, opacity, maybe like there. Oh, now when I go back to my main one, it doesn't screw with anything. Oh, I miss an oranguru. Busy talking away. So yeah, there's, there's some situations where you create a universal change and there's some situations where you don't. It's just a matter of where you put it. Oops. So there was one, let's look back at this. There's one in the center, basically. Well, not quite the center, slightly off center. Yeah, you can actually see it like this is an equal distance from this which is an equal distance from this which is suddenly really far away from the front so basically that and then 
me go back to basically the center here. These are slightly less important. No. <laughs> All I wanted was another one of these. Why is that? Oh, I know why. And forward. That's, oh, you know what? I think this one is just too far back, or not far enough back. There we go. So if I take you and you and no, you and you and you and you and you. And you. And then we group those. And then we group these. But I'm kind of partial to the red. <laughs> kind of curious what's the simulation doing here it's not throwable Simlab shaped start out dynamic. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's let's get rid of that. Maybe I deal with that a little later. Maybe sometime after I have an axle, perhaps. Interesting to model the leaf springs. And technically, the front of mine, not even technically, the front of mine looks massively different. But I do still need to make sure that that gets modeled because I'm planning on putting stuff on it. The front, in this case, is actually slightly more important than the back. So, let's get in these guts. Oh, I need to break you back apart. Break you back apart. What? Not just that. Well, what's the other thing that I broke apart then? Okay. I'm sure we'll find out at the most opportune time, right? And now I get to figure out what angle are these at. You think it's that easy?
Yeah, I didn't really think so either. Because that comes out quite a bit more. Uh, where was that plate? This guy. So from center of wheels, it's 73 and a half minus 14. So 59 and a half. Where's my notes? Fifty nine point five from center of tire to mountain intersect. What are we going to call that? I think it's called an intersect to. Intersect of trailer neck? Is it a neck? We're gonna find out. And one of the weird things is I if I try to stretch this out, it doesn't just make this longer obviously I mean it, that of course makes sense but kind of annoying so what if I I'm gonna take this guy I'm gonna put you on the ground right here and I'm gonna make you Uh, five point nine five. What I said, I'm going to make you five point nine five. There we go. So if I take this. And I make this, it needs to be off of, no. Yeah, okay. Then I can take this guy. going to be too much angle but let's see get rid of you copy pasta mirror put you over here I mean, the problem is they don't actually intersect there. There needs to be space in between that. So I just need to screw with the angles a little bit, which basically just means I go this way. All right, I took seven off of that one. Let's take Seven off of that one. Uh, 
Why did I just lose internet? something out with the internet side of things here like it's not even windy so I can't blame that but something just decided to drop for reasons I don't know but that's bothersome basically starting over so I'm gonna have two streams today I love that it makes it so much more fun when I'm exporting it just means I have to upload manually whatever I'm not mad you're mad all right so now in theory I should be able to put one of these guys in here and it should be able to finish this uh, if I rotate it the right way <laughs> ah, jeez. Wait, what? Why? Why can't you be... Why can't you just be normal? did and I don't feel bad about it I put it on the wrong plane thing I do have to do and this will be this is a bit more important that it be accurate I need to make sure of what size this this chunky boy here is because it rounds off which is always fun to do. Well, let me drag this over here. So yeah, it comes out and then this guy basically is going to connect to it and then I'll have another square I guess coming out of it but see how this if this line continued it would go right through this hole but this hole obviously I'm pretty sure that these stop right here and this is where normally there would be a 
uh, another thing that sits in here. And if you look, like this thing was welded in right here and then ground flat. So I'm really hoping that I can just nip, nip, and I think there was some weld on this side, and then slide this whole thing off. And the one that I'm looking at getting goes right over top, but on the inside, and then I just drill in and bolt it rather than this silliness, and it's something I can replace easily later. I don't know if this whole chunk is... I don't think it's normal. I don't think it's supposed to be there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, there's, there's nothing there. So that might be another thing that gets cut out. It might stay. Um... Because realistically, I I need to move this, or I mean, I can leave it, but I need, I'm going to put my cooler refrigerator thing here. Maybe I build something up so I can put it just right above this. I don't know. That's, that's all. TBD. And you know what? I know to some of you I just got back, but... Burb. And back. All right. So yeah, as I was saying, this may end up getting cut out. It looks like it was like built around the idea of holding a battery. A lot of these wires are going to have to be redone either way. So yeah, I'm definitely redoing these chains. I just kind of threw together whatever I had handy, right? Alright. Not you. I need this one. I'm not going to put this guy in there, although I should at least block off area for 
the chunk. Oh wait, so this should only be one. Okay, so I wasn't too far off there. Wow, look at that. That's... I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, mother... <laughs> I need you to go the other way, though. Nice. And I could just get rid of that guy. And we'll just plop this guy down. That's basically going to be the farthest forward it can be. We'll dump it down. It's got to be minus 0.2. Right. Yep. And we chomp you down. I mean, that's a good enough representation, I think. So now this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy are all one thing, or at least will be when we're done with it. And this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. cooking with gas okay so we need this and this and this to all be one thing and now we've got I mean this is this is enough for me to do the next couple of things that I need to do um, basically make my plane be here because this tells me how much crap I can fit in there so let's go back real quick to the battery box from Renogy not Renology <laughs> One of these days, one of these days. Hey, is this price going down? Or is it up? I feel like that's up. Because I'm looking at the Pioneer kit plus a spare battery. Let's look at Road trip budgets. There we go. So when I look at power, my Renology. Oh yeah, I had 30. Oh, that's right, because I didn't include any sales. I feel like it was a much better sale not that long ago, though. So. Ouch, like a $600 more sale. Well, keep an eye on it. I mean, 
I don't really need to worry about putting this in until most of the rest of this stuff is taken care of. Like, I've got to take these tires off. I've got to get these tires replaced. Uh, I've got to mount the rack. Uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of other things to do before I get to the power. So I'll just, at every stream, I'll go and check it. What's the price right now? I mean, it's got that. This offered me a price tracker right here, right? Yeah, but it, I don't think it's going to track this price. Well, why not? Did we catch it? Did we catch it? I do not know. I feel as though perhaps I need some widget here that says, like, what was the last Pokemon and did I catch it? It doesn't seem like it'd be rocket surgery to do. But since we're here, did I catch it? I did not. Womp womp. All right, but I was here specifically because I'm looking at the batteries. That's what we care about here. Um, specs. No, no, no one caught it. It is this one, right? No, that's not the same battery. Uh, products, batteries, lithium. Are lithium batteries safe? I love how that just... <laughs> frequently asked questions, are lithium batteries safe? Boom, the rest of the page loads. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Oh yeah, these were definitely six ninety nine when I was looking before. Yeah. That is the only frequently asked question. Allegedly. Alright, but this is the one we're looking at. Seven day unconditional. Like if I poke a hole in it? <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke in Minecraft. Nope, they've got, wow, they've got the, the Bronco, uh, the Braptor. was the there it is eight by eight point four by the number of batteries so I'm gonna do what I did last time we're just gonna rebuild better box which is bam one point seven eight Sorry for yawning in your ear. So we need 1.78 by 3.41. 1.78 by 3.41. Well, 
wait, what? Well, that is, that's correct. All right, but. I mean, we knew the batteries were gonna take a bunch, of, a chunk of space. What was our height? Our height is basically 1.01. 1 .01. One point oh one, so slightly bigger. Now let's come on. We want you centered there. Good enough. And then we move you to the front. Because this is going to be a box. That, like I said, will allow me to do some wiring on one or one of the other sides. I can also put the vents in there. Uh, it is right below the line here. Is there something I can put under it that makes sense? Because... I would be slightly worried about putting things on top of it. Like, when you need access to it, you need access to it right then, right? I mean, if this were just a regular, not special trailer, I would say, Cut a hole, make a drawer. Oh, but, okay. We're just gonna leave that for now. One thing I am curious about. So I was looking at the dual zone, one of these. How big is this guy? Wow, $100 off right now. Fifteen percent off. All right, let's. We're looking at thirty-one point two by nineteen. So, another box. You are 31.2. No, no. Three point one nine two by one point nine. That's pretty big. I don't know if that's going to fit where I want it to fit. Because with the break in there, well, let's do the center. That basically is taking all of the space up front. Oh, and I didn't even I didn't even do that part. One point eight nine. <laughs> that is a chunky boy. And realistically, because of that break, it's probably like there. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, I guess it could just go to the other end. And then the freezer's basically like underneath the tent. That takes up a like the majority of the storage space at that point. So let's look at uh, what are the black and yellow tote. There are 27 gallons. Um, these piss me off. <laughs> Let me explain. These ones, the lid area is smaller than the Costco ones. So they don't interlock. The bottom of the these ones will fit into this space, but they're slightly taller, so it'll wiggle. It's not a, a perfect fit in this space, but the bottom of these ones, or the bottom of these ones, which is funny because these are Ace, but these are the same ones as, as Costco normally. You never know. I mean, they are just selling whatever they can get their hands on, right? But the bottom of these ones will not fit into the groove in the top of these ones. They look the same. They, like, everything about them appears to be the same. But they're just different enough. Like, can we just... Can we just... Have standard size totes like can we just have nice things <laughs> but anyway um i'm looking for the dimensions not of the hdx i want the green maids so they are How does it have a height of 14 inch, but a depth of 30 and a width of, okay. So it's 14 inch tall by 20 inch wide. Okay, that, that sounds, that's believable. It's about as wide as it is deep, not deep. That looked terrible on camera. <laughs> All right, so this box now actually there is a problem. Because if I put those boxes in there in the middle, they need to be able to come out underneath the space between the tent. Whereas if I put the tent slightly forward, I could put them here. So if I instead take this, rotate it 90, basically match it up with this. Like, sure, you're reaching over the wheel well. I honestly might also just be that a a dual zone is too much. Well, 
which makes me sad. I would definitely prefer that. I don't know, I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm really, really not of the opinion that that's gonna be its final location. But I also don't hate it there, you know what I mean? Because I also still need something to support all of this because right now it doesn't have Poke catch. let's give it an ultra ball I like Espeon what do you think did we catch it did we get it Espeon and wow, other than special attack, this one's pretty good. <laughs> Four hundred and thirty-six dollar. And the only reason I really want to make sure that I have actual storage in here is I'm thinking, you know, what if it rains? What if it snows? Things like that. If I'm driving along and there's rain, you know, collecting in here, <laughs> I'd definitely rather it be inside something. These, I know, are decent and cheap, right? Oh, carton of foam, like a hundred dollars for a Uline tote. That's crazy. There's something like this to be, there's something to be said for hinged storage boxes that have actual like handles. Sure, they're a little bit more expensive. Integrated rollers, molded grooves. Being lockable is useful. Oh, that's probably a combination. I'm like, why would you have just that kind of lock? But what is their size? That's 27 gallon. What's this 27? Oh, right. Okay. So 1.1 1 .1 by 14 by 37. Let's put that in there. Let's see what that looks like. Um, 14 by 37. 1.4. By 3.7. Could I get two of those at least? Well, let's do the height. What was the, what was the height? If I could put them up on their side, I could get three, but I'd be looking at like, push these all the way back. This would no longer fit. Let's 
What about my Camp Chef Griddle? I need the uh, Versa Top. What are the storage dimensions of this guy? One of the things that's kind of screwy about it is this. This sticks out no matter what. So basically this side up, right? <laughs> and then the other side is this, but luckily you can just pull this drawer out and stuff it inside. It's not, not a huge deal. But these little leggy things get stuck in everything. Anything with grooves, yeah. Compact design, learn more. It's compact design, okay. I mean, I can go measure it, I guess. See, this is kind of cool. Um, but like this is the same size as the entire thing. This is almost two of those. So there's kind of cool. And then there's, whoa, no. And I bought it primarily, not even primarily. I bought it only to be a grill because there is nothing in the world as good as uh, corned beef hash done on a griddle. It's, it's the only right way to do it. But this really doesn't give me dimensions. I'm probably just gonna have to go measure it. Did the Today Show change their logo? Or is that just, this was said today? <laughs> I bet these one star reviews are all this, yep. The grill and the barbecue box at first. Their appearance was excellent. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, a little bit of wind, you can turn it. But this, yeah. Luckily, mine warps the other way. Mine starts warped and then unwarps as it heats. <laughs> wow, they didn't even respond to that one. One to three of four. And then, oh, failed after two uses. I, I don't disagree with most of these. Fatal design flaw. With two small welds, okay. Wait, so when I changed, oh, okay. No, all I want are the two stars. All right, what about the three stars? Great grill, but flaws. Anyway, I'm, I was just looking for 
Squirrel. I was just looking for the dimensions of the silly thing. Which, I mean, I guess it does say 224 square inches of flat top freedom. That means 14 by 14. Let's see if I do clear 224 divided by 14, 16, 14 by 16. All right. <laughs> uh, so we put you in here. You're going to be 1.4 by 1.6. I'm trying to think it's maybe seven, six, seven inches tall. Just trying to go off of memory. So let's do 0 0.7. And generally speaking, this is how I store it. So in theory, now this isn't really accounting for overflow, right? Like, it's cool that these boxes have handles, but how far do those handles stick out? Boom, boom, boom. But in theory, there's some room in here. So it could be like there. And the good thing is here there's there's like there's still room on top so some of the little things can still be thrown up there right like did i lose there no okay oh this i haven't been using the uh obs blade for a while so it's in the connection lost reconnecting that happens after about two and a half hours. <laughs> I forgot about it. There is something else I need to consider, and it's actually kind of important where I put it. What are you? Are you? Oh, you're the, the downside of my box. Okay. Good to know. Um, oh, there was also, where's that gonna go? Uh, boom, 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 boom. Maintenance tires, is it, you're under extra jerry can. The jerry can I'm definitely looking at. Are you here? No. Yeah. Why did I put this with the tent? This is extras. That's okay. We're looking at dimensions. 42 by 15 by 6. So another box. Four point two. Oh, I don't want that. I want this to be four point two. By one point six. Huh? No. Where'd you go? There we are. 42 by 1.5. Oh, I think that's the, yeah, okay.
and it's going to end up being this number, 1.6 by 6.75 or 0.675. Okay, well, this gets moved. That thing's going to stick way up. I guess we just put this there for now. All right. What else was on this grand wish list? all the miscellaneous stuff. Well, oh, actually, I'm probably going to be throwing my... I have currently a box that I throw all of this stuff in. Uh, all my recording stuff. GoPro and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that's probably going to get chucked back there. What I'm really trying to do is make sure that as much as possible goes into the trailer because that's the purpose of the trailer. What I don't want is to have a lot of stuff migrate into the car. Uh, the reason for that is the reason for wanting a trailer. If I'm going someplace and I'm camping, I want to go set up camp, and if I've got to go somewhere in the car, I don't want to worry about all of the stuff that's in the car. I want to be able to just go, right? So I'm definitely trying to get as much as possible in the trailer. Um, what was I looking? Oh yeah, I was looking for, this will have to be, this guy right here, which I'll make sure and grab a link to. because I am actually using this and it's probably worth noting. And it is mono price, so weatherproof, right? It's, it's water resistant. <laughs> It's enough to keep some electronics a little safer than duct tape taping them to the hood of your car. But it is 22 by 14 by 8. here real quick we need another box I wonder how like luckily these are basically optional this is kind of optional so I'm not anywhere stuck yet So 2.2 by 1.4 by 
actually. And and that's something I need to revisit. All of these point eights. It's not quite reality. Like that doesn't seem that seems too big. It's close. So like, yeah, those are, those are pretty close to each other. I guess I could put this like all the way up against there. Will that give this space? No. I mean, there's really no reason I can't just put it on top, right? And then just dunk, 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 dunk. And then just put it over here. Although these are kind of a ways away from the back, but I'm doing that to just to give a little bit of extra space. A little bit of, uh, what if my measurements are completely wrong? Of course now I can probably stick this guy right in here. Go back to here. It's a snug fit. Snog feet. But I mean, the only things that are kind of locked down, like all of this should be able to be moved around, except this guy is going to be, it's got to be secured, right? This guy's got to be at least mostly secured. And this absolutely, like, I'm probably, once I figure out where this is going to go, it's going to get bolted, and then I'll probably cut the bolts off and just weld them, so that if you want to get that thing out of there, you've got to, you got to do the, some work. <laughs> All right, what's next? I don't even like I'm looking at those they are 27 gallon. I guess that leaves like enough space here for like clothes and stuff or for like shoes and I don't have Currently don't have a toolbox sort of specked out, so that's kind of important, right? Let's do this. Dun, dun, dun. Text. Um. Text. Storage. Wonk. And you're going to be a hole.
do want you to be centered. And I can't tell if it moved that, but that's all right. Group. And then I can just delete you. Pasta you. And next text. Needs to be another 90. Safe or unsafe. Hole. Boom. Freezer. Oh, I didn't even think I'm going to have to have the... So I've got the batteries, right? I'm going to have to have the solar panel floating around in here somewhere, too. Yoink. And group. Whoops. Oh, I missed a wiglet. What even is a wiglet? Why doesn't it like that? Jambala. I mean, I think, for the most part, that covers it. I mean, most of this stuff is going to be in the storage area. Some of this is going to be, you know, run throughout the thing. I need to... <laughs> rename all of the Renologies to Renogy. But yeah, I think that kind of covers it, right?
oh, you know what needs to go in there? And what's missing from this? Though, so this griddle takes those round propane tanks, the little guys. Um, there is an adapter to attach the bigger propane tanks to it, but there's kind of a problem with that in that they're lower pressure. So the flame never really gets high enough to really heat anything. And I think some of the complaints about how, oh, it doesn't heat very well. I think they're related to that. Uh, I'm, I seem to remember that I saw some sort of regulator that can combat that somehow, but uh, really just use the little ones. Um, what are they called? What are the little propane tanks? Yeah, the little ones. All-purpose propane gas cylinder. Um, 16 ounce. Versus, what are the big ones? The three pound. And the problem is those ones, uh, the larger ones obviously are, are way better. Do larger tanks. Provide more pressure. A twenty pound at seventy has a pressure of four one forty five. The same tank at a hundred has one seventy two. Hoses and regulators. Let's see. So maybe I just had bad regulators. Okay, maybe I need a high pressure regulator. Install it on the regulator for you. <laughs> hmm. Well, that might be one more thing I need to look into a little bit more because those individual little cans get expensive. And honestly, it's a pain in the butt. And while they are infinitely recyclable because they're just steel, uh, often does that actually happen? yeah having these guys now granted i'm not going to be able to do this at least not with my current plan of having this guy right here not to say i couldn't just plow and then change my storage option right and this 
still may not even be what I get. It just seems to me like a good idea to have the ability to keep some food. <laughs> but... Dual zone, that gives me a refrigerator and a freezer. What does that give me over... Actually, yeah, let's look at that. Uh, where did my freezer go? Did I close it? I must have closed it. Let's look at the single zone. I mean, it's smaller. What's the size on this guy? Let me just put you out of the way. We're going to make you... Alright, so now... If we look at that guy instead... It's... 2.74 It's not looking like it's going to be vastly different <laughs> uh, By 15 Uh, 1.58 by 1 1.9 yeah that's I don't know if that's enough of a difference to care right Yeah, I got the mini ore. What is a mini ore? Let's check. Hello, mini ore. Coming. Now oh, I've never seen one of those. Wow, I got two perfects out of it too. I mean, and even being average, that's. Not tea bag. Thirty eight minutes. Uh. Well, I think this is a good place to call it. Um, got a lot done today, actually, from a figuring stuff out perspective I like it uh, tomorrow I'll probably be chopping this guy up a little bit to see if I can decide how I'm going to mount the tent to the top of it I'm sure someone out there is screaming at me for the way that I'm doing these conversions Just shifting the decimal place, probably less effective than you'd think, but what are you going to do? Maybe I'll look into that a little bit more as well. I mean, honestly, all in all, this trailer just shifting the decimals looks pretty close to me. I'm happy with it anyway. All right. Well, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for hanging out till the end. Sorry you're getting too... Oh, you're not getting too, because I'm just going to upload you. Um, and if you hung out, you were lurking. Thanks for making me a part of your day. And 
as ever, if there's something you see that I'm doing that is egregious and horrible, let me know. Uh, I know I'm not out here saying I'm doing it right, so it's unlikely that I'm going to get much feedback on the internet because I'm not being wrong on the internet. I'm just being wrong. I'm not being confidently wrong. I'm being unconfidently wrong and more confident that I'm wrong than I'm right. So eh, it does bring feedback on the internet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. Go do something fun. I hope this was fun. Good times. Had by all. What are you still doing here? Go. Go touch grass. I'm hoping to touch grass one of these days. I hear it's nice.